The buds of spring burst with life and us with anticipation. At the beginning of every hunting season, I challenge myself to be better, to be stronger, calmer, stealthier, to wait for a better shot until I can't, to make a better shot, and when I don't, to pit the light of hope against the despair of darkness, to track longer and farther until is found the body of the life I took, to pay it respect and use it to the fullest. Look who's back, folks. It's Wilmsy the bear hunter. I only plan on using one of these. And you are after a bear that has lots of fat on it. Yeah, big one. I'm gonna try the fat rendering this year. That's cool. Thank you, they're a whirl. I'm excited. Real and you, excited. And, and you're gonna videotape the whole thing for us, correct? <laughs> <laughs> I hope someone can do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a yes, folks. I'll, I'll, I'll invite somebody over. You can watch the experiment go horribly wrong, or however that goes. But yeah, that should be neat. I, I will videotape it though. I'll show you guys. That sounds like an episode, folks. It's the first time in many years I've sat at a bait and not seen a bear. And after sitting there the last night and the previous night with John and having that nice black come in both nights, I thought tonight was a certainty and I should know better. Uh, the only thing certain about hunting is that we're going to do it. But um, hopefully tomorrow. In fact, I'm certain. Of it. Yeah, me too.
guys that didn't pass through. He might have got shoulder on the other side or something. Take a look at the footage. See what the shot looked like. I think it looked okay though. Well, it was high, but you had the angle. Now, we did not hear the death moan after the shot, so we waited until almost dark and then got down for a closer look. Well, Jeremy and I were pretty excited to see that lighted knock in the dusky shadows. And me being the optimist that I am, I thought our trek was over. But as we got closer, we realized it was just a broken arrow laying on the trail and no bear in sight. So we went about a hundred yards to the west and we couldn't find them tonight. Um, it's difficult because it's been raining for four days and the ground is soaked, leaves are soaked, hard to pick up any blood. But we've got 10 guys at bear camp that would love nothing more to, than to get up in the morning and help us finish this chapter. So, but I'm still optimistic, buddy. Okay, yeah. again, I'm gonna take some of that too. <laughs> if you're a bow hunter, then you've likely had to endure one of these long, restless nights, wondering if the shot was good enough for a recovery. A question that can only be answered in the light of day. A little bit of a ding in her. Yeah. It's been raining a lot here. So very happy to see that because it's almost impossible to see it on that stuff. Blood on this trail here. Good sign. Our hopes were lifted as we followed the blood down to the edge of a slough where it appeared that the bear had stopped and milled around in a small circle for a while. But outside of that, both the bear and the blood had apparently vanished. After an hour of random circling, and the bitter thought of failure on everyone's mind, we decided to make one last organized drive to find Jeremy's bear. So we had a, about Thank a two you. hour so track. Thanks, Thanks, we, had, we had blood, pretty good blood, um, 150 yards from the bait, and then uh, got close to a swamp and we could not find any blood. And so we just split the guys up into a grid pattern, walked a line and bumped into them just by chance but not before some predators got to it. I mean, it's frustrating. It's weird how other animals have got to my animal. Now, if this was a deer hunt, the obvious culprits here would be coyotes and ravens. But according to our good friend, Clay Charlton, who runs an outfitting business in the area, there's only one animal that would scavenge off a freshly fallen black bear, a wolf. That's really too bad, but... And it's better, like you said, better knowing than not knowing, right? What happened? But man, he made it far. I can't believe it. How far do you think he went? This has got to be like, yeah, easy. That's got it like, like, I guess as a crow flies, probably 300. And then, and then uh, all that loop-de-loop he did around the swamp and stuff. He stopped bleeding down there. He plotted up, I think. Yeah, and then he just took off. 
Come here embedded this down. way. Which is, which is, yeah, that's, that's crazy. That is crazy. But it's good to know that uh, we did get the tag filled and we got the bear down and um, should be some meat to save off of it. Right on. Just got back from bear camp with Bloodline Adventures. Uh, it was a great camp. had had a blast. Lots of lots of laughs. The hunts were awesome. They were a roller coaster of emotions, really. Long story short, I did get a bear, uh, so now my freezer is filled with both bear meat and bear fat. Now that the freezer's full, I want to try rendering bear fat. I've never done it before. It doesn't look that difficult uh, from the YouTube videos that I've watched. I am curious to see how, how easy it is to do. Uh, it doesn't seem like you need too much. You need a big pot, some cheesecloth for kind of filtering things out. I, I got this at Superstore. Strainer as well, just to help get rid of any sort of chunks, or I'm sure there's gonna be some, some hairs in there and stuff like that, so I can uh, filter that out. And then some mason jars, which I'll dig up from the basement later. I'm gonna slice up the bear fat into small chunks and then cook it outside on, a, on the side of my barbecue. I'm not sure what this is gonna smell like, so I don't know if I want the inside of my house to smell like bear grease. So being this is the first time I've ever done this, uh, I'm gonna give it a whirl outside and see how that goes. Let's get started. Bear fat sliced up, it's in a pot, it's on the barbecue, and uh, it's sizzling up nice already. One thing I've gathered is that you don't want to rush this process. I gotta cook, uh, cook the fat slow. So I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna check it periodically, uh, cook it slow, and uh, I mean, it's five o'clock somewhere, so might as well sit and hang out. Man, I need a break. It's pretty hard work. Oh, cow, that smells good. I changed my mind. I want my house to smell like that. Holy cow. They're onto something. That was easy to do, not challenging at all. Super worth it, tasted really good. It made that breakfast of eggs and bear sausage taste that much better.